Hey there, so this pattern that we made before with the points, now here I'll give you a quick example of how to actually create lines out of that. So if we go back here to where we have our points, and this would generate if I click play over time. Cool. Now all you have to do is I've made another wrangle here and a fuse. So I'll show you the code inside this wrangle, and here we have it. So nice and simple, I'm looping through all the points here of my final result and for each one I'm checking if it has neighbours and if it does I'm drawing a line between that point and its neighbours. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm creating a line which is a primitive called polyline. Then I'm setting up my neighbours which is get me all the neighbours or get me the nearest points to my current location within this radius. And then I'm going for each of those neighbours that have been found now I do minus one because this point here is going to find itself, so I don't want that. And I'm saying if there are neighbours, for each one, I want you to go in and I need to make two vertices, one at the beginning and one at the end of the line. So I create my first vertex here, and it belongs to this line, and it's this point that you want to base this vertex off. And then I'm setting that vertex into its own vertex group called places. And so here I have the name of the group, the vertex that I'm putting in. Here is minus one because the vertex number that I've just created is going to be the number that's going into this group. So I don't need that. And number one is just telling me to do it. And then here, I'm just making a vertex out of my current point that I'm looping through. And I'm making a vertex for that as well. So that'll give me a before and after. So if I go ahead and show you now with this run, now they all have lines. And it's also dynamic. So if I click play, it will go through and generate but put lines on the end, which is cool. And then we can just add a fuse on the end, which will you know tidy up the gaps in between all the lines. But I haven't changed any of the settings. And there we have it. Now, of course, with every experiment, we have things that go wrong, and I can show you a couple of those examples. So here, I drew too many lines, and it just kind of went crazy. But it looks cool. And then here, I was I accidentally added a, a Y value to the points, but then it started going into 3D. But again, that looks cool as well. It'd be cool to do a 3D version of this. And then I had a bug where the lines would only draw left. But it was still pretty cool. Not that I would ever use this, probably not, but... And then I did this again on... 45 degree angle. But it was pretty, so I thought I'd include it. Cool, so taking the previous example, you have a point wrangle to make up the lines and then fuse them together to do a bit of tidy up. And this VEX code will be in the description of the video. So I hope that helps and thanks for watching.